This is Coda Territory. Coming up on Good Morning Black Hills, exciting news, Eric. Get ready for a unique blend of entertainment and plenty of excitement as part of an expansion project at a popular gaming resort in Deadwood. And those Deadwood visitors get some great weather over the weekend. They had some sunshine reported yeah. and looking look forward to a nice sunrise. However, scattered thunderstorms this afternoon, highs in the 80s. Some, okay. some severe weather possible. Right, all right. Well, it's Mental Health Monday just in time, Eric. We focus <laughs> on building healthy relationships with family and friends. Amanda Makeley joins us from West River Mental Health with the qualities it takes to build healthy and productive relationships. And you don't want to miss out on enrolling your child in YMCA's pre-K prep program this summer. Find out how with uh, Kez Larson and Eve Finnegan and Rhonda Schwartz from AAA shares some important safety tips for families traveling on road trips. A lot of them will be on the road this week. Lots of them. They're breaking records, Eric. <laughs> From Skyline Drive, this is Good Morning Black Hills. Good morning, Black Hills. Thank you for starting your week with us. I'm Alina Neff. And I'm Eric Gardner. And we had a hot day yesterday, so Ooh, we have yes. 90s, 91. <laughs> but we had a strong storm around Newcastle with some damaging winds at weekend, caused some light rain showers in Rapid City yesterday evening. Kind of pleasant. Yeah, it kind of cooled us down a, Just little, a little bit. bit. You know. But it could be pretty active <laughs> later on today with right. some stormy weather. So okay. uh, we'll have to watch for that. Let's take a look outside downtown at 68 degrees. Now, that 68 degree temperature is the Rapid City Regional Airport. We've been warmer down town winds are north northwest at three miles per hour sunny to partly cloudy skies and those temperatures are going to be warming up into the 80s this afternoon and once we get into those 80s about one o'clock or so we're going to start seeing some of those scattered strong thunderstorms develop our forecast high in rapid city today 86 degrees partly cloudy skies scattered thunderstorms this afternoon one or two of those might be severe with a threat of hail and high winds now we're not all going to see severe weather but there is that chance make sure you have the coda weather app download us so you can stay safe and informed today all right, thank you so much, Eric. A popular gaming resort is enhancing its guest experience as part of its renovations. Tin Lizzie opened Market on Main two months ago along with a Pizza Hut. Now, the first alert forecast with meteorologist Ryan Larmieu. Well, we are seeing clouds continuing to impact places in and around Rapid City. We saw a few storms push through the Black Hills earlier. We are continuing to see those push out of our area, but a few more are starting to fire up. And you can definitely tell where that rain cooled air is. 73 degrees in town. It feels wonderful out there, but a little breezy north northwest winds at 17 miles an hour. Temperatures across Cota territory are sitting in the 60s and 70s. 65 in Gillette, 68 in Sheridan. We're at 75 at the airport in Rapid City, 70 in downtown lead at 65 degrees. We're still seeing a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for all the counties there in pink. Wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour are possible along with hail up to the size of a lime. A weak tornado or two can't be ruled out, but a majority of that cluster of storms have moved into central South Dakota, but we're still tracking some storms moving in and around Campbell County. One storm north of Gillette, along with another storm that's moving into the Badlands. We'll continue to see these storms impact locations, and I'll be tracking the radar and the forecast coming up in just a few minutes. From Skyline Drive, this is Coda Territory News at 6. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jack Cottle and I'm Juliana Alford. There was a shooting in Sturgis Sunday night when a man fired multiple shots at the Sturgis Public Safety Building at approximately 1145 PM. And if that wasn't enough, officers say they also found undetonated explosives near the building. Brian Savage stopped by Sturgis and takes us into that investigation. From Skyline Drive, this is Coda Territory News at 9. We have the latest on the future of Amtrak here in the Mount Rushmore state. Plus, a man fires several shots at the Sturgis Public Safety Building last night. And the Rapid City Area School Board hands down its punishment to its superintendent. The details are first tonight on Coda Territory News at 9. Thanks for joining us on this Monday night. I'm Phil Aldrich and I'm Juliana Alford. The Rapid City Area Schools Board of Education has released a response to comments made by the school district superintendent Nicole Swaggart. 
The board apologizing for Swaggart's comments about Native American students and is putting the superintendent on leave for 30 days. The apology by the board said, quote, first and foremost, we apologize for those who were affected by these statements. We firmly believe that every student deserves to learn in an environment free from harassment, bias or prejudice. As a district for all of our families and for our community, we must do better.